the original idea was to uh, build a uh, tape recorder, but we got into this wireless microphone. Uh, a, a professor from San Jose State brought his prototype around, and it wasn't very good, but it gave us the idea. And so I was assigned the microphone project. We were pretty discouraged for a long while. We just couldn't get the uh, distance. We couldn't get because we were limited in the amount of milliwatts we could put out. Uh, we, we couldn't even go 100 feet uh, at, in the beginning. But finally, we got a breakthrough. I think it was Walt was out uh, in the strawberry patch with a microphone. I couldn't hear anything. And all of a sudden, boom, boy. And it, it uh, came in like a ton of bricks. And uh, uh, he had somehow dropped the microphone. And, uh, and we had one hand on the antenna, and it, the microphone was on the ground. And it, uh, we finally traced down it, what we had to do to increase the signal strength. Had all to do with the antennas. Uh, and uh, so we, we finally got a uh, type of a dipole with uh, one, one antenna around your neck and the other around your waist on, on the dipole, and it did very well. We had an advantage on Sony. Sony, I think, had crystal control, where we had, uh, you could adjust with a, uh, uh, a, a tuning capacitor. You could adjust the frequency. And so if you had interference, uh, the customer could just tweak the frequency a little bit and get rid of the interference. So we. We outperformed the Sony by far.